First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the Women in Propane Council for allowing me the opportunity to speak before you today. I am honored to be here speaking about the topic of mentoring. A mentor is defined as a trusted guide or counselor. My parents actually first fulfilled that role for me when I was a very young girl. My mentoring story begins when I was a young girl in the home of my mother, my father, and my two sisters. My parents were mentors to me because they taught me about professionalism, hard work, dedication, humility, and being ethical. My dad worked very hard to provide for our family and always taught me to pay myself first with every paycheck. He told me to put away a dollar, if that's all you could, for a safe place for a rainy day. My dad also told me to have fun anytime I left the house to go to work. And believe it or not, he still says that to me today. He's always said that life is too short not to enjoy what you do. The moment you don't enjoy work is the moment you need to evaluate what you're doing and determine if it's the right thing for you to do. I will never forget a very simple line my dad shared with me. I was very young into my career at Faro Gas and had just become a manager. I was visiting my parents one weekend and discussing the challenges of managing my new staff. My dad looked at me and said, Kellyanne, and yes, that is my middle name. He said, Kellyanne, that's why you get paid the big bucks. In his sweet words, my dad said, honey, you wouldn't be in that job if you couldn't do it, so suck it up and move on. My dad put everything into perspective for me at that time. Anytime I'm feeling sorry for myself, I remember that very simple line and I move on. That phrase is also a reminder to me that it's not about me, but it's about the company that I work for and striving every day to make feral gas better at everything we do. Mentors come in all shapes and sizes. My mom was actually a very quiet mentor. At the time, I did not realize how much I learned from her just by observing her words and actions. She was a very humble, quiet soul who always put others' needs before her own. She taught me the importance of reaching out to your community and giving back, not only to your community, but to your profession as well. She taught me how to be professional and ethical with my words and my actions every single day of my life. She really pushed me outside my comfort zone on a number of occasions to teach me how to interact with different people from different walks of life. And at the time, I did not realize the value of that lesson, but have come to realize how valuable that was at such a young age to learn how to do that. I certainly have several silent mentors in my life that give, give to me in invaluable ways every single day. I urge you to be mindful of those silent mentors, as they too can teach you a great deal about mentoring. And after all, part of mentoring is leading by example. The first few years of my professional career, my parents fulfilled the role of mentor for me, but I was ready for a professional mentor. While I was searching for a mentor, I observed those in my organization who were successful, professional, excited about their job and the company, and also interested in me and what I did. Much like my own family, I did not have to look far for a mentor in Feral Gas. My first professional mentor was Robin Lewis. She is the Vice President of Procurement, Fleet, and Asset Management at Feral Gas. Robin took the time to get to know me and she also observed me in action on a number of occasions. She was very quick to guide me when I needed guidance and ready to talk about my skills and abilities to others. Robin became my trusted guide or counselor. Over the years, I've certainly experienced challenges in my career. On a number of occasions, I've turned to Robin to discuss the situation and my proposed solution. Robin would listen intently and offer feedback to ensure I was maintaining who I was, and more importantly, learning from the situation. I continue to look to Robin for career advice and know she always has my best interest in mind, as she truly is like a sister to me. While I did not have any brothers in my family, I quickly found a few at Feral Gas. I was fortunate to witness the promotion of Steve Womble from a district manager to Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer in February of 2006, and then again to President and Chief Operating Officer 
in April 2006, and then again to Chief Executive Officer in September of 2009. I have seen Steve in action a number of times, and he consistently reminds me that hard work is rewarded at Feral Gas. And at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to ensure we did everything we could to make Feral Gas better at everything. Steve also reminds me that anything is possible if you commit yourself to excellence every day. There's another mentor in my Feral Gas family by the name of Boyd McGaffey, who was recently promoted to Chief Operating Officer. I began working with Boyd almost two years ago and immediately noticed his tenacity and passion to make Feral Gas the premier propane company in the industry. In seeing Boyd in action, I myself have committed myself to the same level of tenacity and passion as I lead my teams to success every day. I know that Robin, Steve, and Boyd are on my side and ready to assist whenever asked. As you can tell, I've received much support from my Feral Gas family, brothers and sisters. I feel obligated to pay it forward. And one way I do that is I always take an opportunity to introduce myself to the new females entering our organization and offer advice based on my own experiences to help them in their career as well. As a family member, I have to ensure that our family remains strong. Thankfully, my parents instilled in me the need to give back to your community and your profession as well. Being part of a family means supporting others when they need it most. I've been an active board member for the Kansas City American Society for Training and Development chapter for the last seven years. In those seven years, I've actually served two terms as president. Through my involvement on that board, I have mentored many people entering the training profession by reviewing their resumes, offering career advice on how to become a trainer, if they're looking for that. Through that advice I've offered to those entering the training profession, I know that at least two people were successful in finding jobs after seeking my advice. I also make an effort to participate in mock interview days at local universities when given the opportunity. I did this last year at Northwest Missouri State University and had the pleasure of interviewing a gentleman who was interested in the HR field. I had just achieved my Senior Professional in Human Resources certification and shared with him the experience and credential information that's necessary to achieve that. I also told the student I would keep an eye out for any internship opportunities in the HR field in the Kansas City metro area that summer. And in fact, I found three opportunities, sent them his way, and he landed one of those jobs. I've also written an article for Kansas City Small Business Magazine, and I presented at the Southern Gas Association Conference. You never know when an opportunity will present itself, and I try to take advantage of all those opportunities to give back to my profession in whatever way I can. Outside of my profession, I find it very important to give back to my communities. I am actively involved in a Rotary Club, a giving circle through the Kansas City Women's Foundation, and I am a top fundraiser with my family's effort to fight ALS, also known as Luke Gehrig's disease. Serving as a mentor and giving back to others makes my soul smile. I thoroughly enjoy giving of my time and talents. You never know when recognition for your efforts will occur. In March of 2012, I was notified that I had been selected to the Kansas City Ingrams Magazine Class of 2012, 40 under 40. I was very humbled to learn that Feral Gas had nominated me. I am ever so grateful for this recognition, and now more than ever, I have an obligation to pay it forward with my own Feral Gas family. Every day I feel blessed to be part of two spectacular families, my own family and my Feral Gas family. It is an honor and privilege to work at Feral Gas every day, I am grateful to Mr. and Mrs. Farrell who started our family and continue to support our family every day. In summary, remember this. Pursue with a passion those things that you enjoy doing. Be mindful of silent mentors. Do not lose sight of lessons learned and advice received from your early mentors such as parents or siblings. Seek out mentors by looking for people you admire who conduct themselves professionally, and who are passionate about what they do 
and doing that which they enjoy doing as well. Lastly, seek out opportunities to give back. Find charitable causes or community causes that are near and dear to your heart. You never know when a mentor or mentee opportunity will come your way. Take every opportunity to be a big brother or a big sister, and you will help advance the careers of so many people. Thank you.